So how well did you know her? Quite well. I was very close to her husband. We had the offices next to each other at Georgetown. She's a, she's just a remarkable lady. Just really the best. I argued my last case in front of her, and I guess earlier this year, and I just never thought that I wouldn't see her again. So. So you have three cases before the court. All of them will be affected by her absence in, in some, to some degree. So some justices are one vote, and some justices are more than one vote. That is to say, as an advocate, you know, you go up there and you're arguing and the justices are asking you questions. And there are certain ones who are savvy at asking a question, not because they want to hear your answer, but because they're trying to persuade one of their colleagues. Justice Ginsburg was more than one vote. She was very, very good at that, both at oral argument and in the conference room when the justices were discussing cases privately. Knowing what the precedent was with Garland, did you think, well, there's some chance that they will, they will be consistent with their word? I wasn't surprised about President Trump or Mitch McConnell, but I would have thought four Republican senators would have the decency not to monkey with the Supreme Court in this way and to understand that there will be the most severe of consequences for this. I mean, to me, it is virtually unthinkable that the Democrats, if they win the Senate and the presidency, and retain the House will resist calls to expand the size of the Supreme Court to 11 or 13 or 15. Trump really, really, really wants to get a 6-3 majority in the post-game period where questions of electoral controversy might very well end up before that court as they did in 2000. The scam that the Democrats are pulling, I think this will end up in the Supreme Court and I think having a 4-4 situation is not a good situation. I can't think of something more destructive to the court than what Trump is saying right now, which is, I need another justice because there might be election disputes. That is anathema to what the Supreme Court is about. You don't get to put your justice on there to give you a vote in an election that you're worried about losing. That is the most corrosive thing I could imagine a president saying.